Hi. It is the basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. With me, my partner in crime is Missy Sorg. Hi. I Hello. Guess I can put my phone away. Hey, you're finally on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean finally on the microphone? Well, I mean, we, just, we were just doing a bunch of recordings in here uh, this this kind of morning slash afternoon. What time is it? Oh, it's only one nineteen. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> but we've been doing studio stuff since about 11 o'clock. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, which was kind of fun because as you shoot the camera to me while I'm awkwardly resituating over here, mm. thank you for that. Um, it, it's kind of interesting because... Uh, that's not how we had things planned this morning. Absolutely not. Uh, you had two podcast recordings initially scheduled, mm-hmm. and we wound up actually not doing the second one mm-hmm. because of unavailability for, for the one guest. But it worked out because you were able to expand the discussion with Jim for fishing. And then and that's fishingwithoutbait.com if you guys want to check that out. And then you were able to get a nice, awesome chat actually out of it as well. Mm-hmm. So the flexibility was pretty good in your favor today. Yeah, it worked out real well. So, so uh, Joanna, Joanna Lowe was with us of Cup of Joe Productions. And uh, and there was somebody that, uh, that, that Jim had run into at the, oh, I can't remember, Hamboats. Um, I think Liz Victory was having an event down there, and uh, and and he, you know, he's always looking for interesting people to have on the show that, that expand the conversations that we're having about, you know, about his full impact mindfulness and everything, right? So we had her on uh, to talk about things. They got really deep with things, but also she has an event going on called Unhinged, which sounds really interesting, and it's right down the road from our friends at, at Scarehouse. And it was just like, yeah, we should have you on and do an awesome chat, you know? Why not? You're here. And I just need to switch over a program and we're good to go, right? And and, and we did it. So, mm-hmm. um, and, and that's one of those really cool. I, I love when something comes like comes up like that where I have an opportunity like that, and, and there's a lot of on the fly things happening just today between something like that, and uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I I, I I'm, I'm having an opportunity to go to an event here in a little bit because some contacts with some other things that we do in in the uh, media world. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, it, it, it's it's really cool when these things kind of um, genuinely just kind of happenstance. Yeah, and a lot of the opportunities I know that that I've had in the last few weeks, it's been just impromptu discussions with people about something, and it's like, oh hey, yeah, this is totally a thing that's that's happening. You should come check it out, or you you should definitely put this marks on your calendar. And it's like, oh cool, I'm really glad that I just decided to by chance stop down and talk with you because mm-hmm. I wouldn't have figured this out or known about this otherwise. Absolutely. I mean, and that's something that, that we, you know, with a space, I think we've been having that a lot too, where people just kind of stumble in for one thing and we end up doing something else. Mm-hmm. Um, let's stumble in. No, although there's a little bit of stumbling because we are up from a bar. So that, 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 that happens. Uh, but uh, otherwise, but no, you know, I mean, there's a lot of times where, you know, these crossovers happen and just kind of make sense. You know, I've been doing work with SAE and I've been, you know, getting to know the guys that work on the technology, the scoring technology <laughs> there, right? And they're, I, and they're like my, bu- my buds out there. I'm like, oh, this is my people, you know? It's a bunch of car people, which I have trouble connecting with. And then here's all the tech heads. Here we go. <laughs> and that's your connection, which also is really fun because... When you went out to record the one of the podcasts with them or do some work with them, mm-hmm. you found a crossover because somebody who is in your chat room for the Mayhem show <laughs> popped and was like, dude, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, uh, yeah, like uh, two two cubicles over from where we were doing work um, uh, with, 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 my, with my contacts there. He just like popped out of a cubicle. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so. I'm just like, oh. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. But the fun thing is, is that the interactions that you have with him, I love what he did with the social media last night mm-hmm. that we were joking around on Tuesday about, you know, going to slice on Broadway, kicking the door in and being like mayhem sent me. Just Yes. Just which complete... I really hope somebody isn't actually doing at least the kicking part of the door. Please don't do that. Please. I'm very, very insistent. Please do not kick the door of our, and, and we were saying, you know, they were saying they're going to go to the one that isn't open in East Liberty, and then there's a picture of him with his foot on the door. But the best thing about it is, is that Slice on Broadway responded back. They're oh, opening they? Monday. Oh, did they? Yes. I didn't see that. They're opening Monday. 
So <laughs> there you go. We had a great connection oh, no. between this completely random, just jokingly thing that now Slice on Broadway is confirming that they're going to be opening on Monday. That's and great. That's great. Pretty much come check it out. Somebody, so. I hope some if this happens, somebody does take video of them doing it at least, you know. I, well, <laughs> the other thing is, and I put this, I think, in our Slack channel, is the, the kicker of that, pun intended, the kicker of it is, is that uh, he was trying to kick the door in, but it's one of those pull to open <laughs> doors. <laughs> So I'm like, buddy, just 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 open the door. No, it's a pull. It's a pull. No cooking required. Please, no. please don't kick. It's a glass door. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no. But yeah, I mean, it's just like you 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 start out with just something, and then it just kind of transforms and transitions naturally into something else. Yeah, yeah. And to keep the open and the flexibility with it, I think is is great because it's easier to do something on the fly. Um, you know, go into it with a basic set of information, a basic modicum of, all right, this is what I need to get done. This is the goal. This is the time frame that I have to achieve it. However, you work in tech. How often do you have to troubleshoot tech issues? Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to take that in, into consideration with things as well. And there've been other times that, you know, we've, we've showed up for something expecting one thing. And then when we get there, we realize, oh, no, we don't need to do all of this. We can literally just do this, have it be very minimalized and make it way more efficient and way more effective to, to do what you need to do with it. And it's going to be more cost effective that way. You know, so it's, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm sorry. I just saw the rest of the conversation. Okay. Cause and I was like, you were sitting over there like completely there's cracking a up over there. Chicken nuggets with big bird, like kicking a door down somewhere. All right. I love our fans. I think we just I broke Sorg. I think we oh just broke Sorg. That justifies um, everything. I don't care. It doesn't matter if if, if that just makes everything okay. <laughs> it's a it's so great. Welcome to what I deal with on a regular basis. Um, and then you wonder what, how he gets things done. He gets things done over here because I I help wrangle the mess. I help wrangle the chaos and I help to bring it all together. He's the creative driving force. I am the actual like workhorse. <laughs> um, I hope Slice has mu as much fun with the stuff that we put out there for them as we do. <laughs> I think if they're not... Oh, I know. I know the guys down the road here appreciate it. They, we, I, I have a quick chat with them every week when we pick up our perfect pepper pizza support in P Pittsburgh podcasting. Uh, <laughs> it's not Tuesday night, so I wasn't on top of it. But uh, still, somebody, I think somebody put that in our tweet too. <laughs> yeah, they did. It was, it's amazing. It wasn't a hashtag like I do on Tuesday nights, but it was yes, the perfect pepperoni pizza. Um, so again, talking about, we sat down to do a specific topic today and we have transitioned to how awesome the internet can be. Uh, so. But no, but, but, and obviously like we've always had, or I've always had at least, and you're getting more into this world, this, this, you know, I, I sat there and she came in as a guest and I was like, well, let's have you on our, our awesome things and tech show kind of thing. Cause you're, you're talking about how you're doing a multimedia theater, right? And then, then I was, we were sitting I'm talking with her. I'm just like, oh, she should go talk to Bold Pittsburgh, our friends over there, because then there can, we can do it, have them do an article on the, on the event as well uh, and get that out there because they're more about those events and nightlife thing, mm -hmm. right? So now we're hitting all three different audiences on, on this project and other ones coming up uh, for her and, and, and because she's, she's also a spoken word and music and everything like that. Um, but I've always been able to go to an event and you know, we have multiple properties, right? We have multiple things that I, I, I can look at one thing, kind of look at it sideways, but like, you'd fit in this as well, right? Well, and the other thing is, is that she came to us via the River's Edge mm -hmm. because it was a show with Liz Victory, mm -hmm. who we met through the River's Edge. And again, that expanding circle. Yeah, so it's it's that networking. It's that getting out there and, you know, kind of working within the groups that, you fit into um, making friends in groups that you don't necessarily fit into, but would be a good fit. Um, yeah. Just, just being flexible with stuff. Uh, if, if you set out each day to just do, this is what I am. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is the path I'm walking down. I don't think I've ever had a day in my life that has gone specifically as planned. No, no, I, I have, uh, I, I have often been, 
realizing how much I, and, and I feel like I've had this before, but in a different vein, but these days I wake up and saying, I don't know what kind of day I'm going to have, you know? Yeah. And, and, and not, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm going to go to my nine to five. I don't know what kind of, the kind of day I'm going to have at work. It's like, no, no, no. I like literally, I don't know what kind of day I'm going to have. <laughs> You know, I don't know the kind of people I'm going to run into. I don't know the kind of experiences that I have ahead of me. And, and, you know, between working in this stuff or even, even just freaking working Lyft. I love, I, I have been doing it a lot lately, but I love working Lyft because you just run into the most interesting people and contacts and things like that. Right. Um, and, and then, you know, mix that with the people coming in at our door here like this, that, that, that Jim brought to us or we're meeting with River's Edge events or, or with Work Hard Pittsburgh events or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's the perfect environment for creativity right now. Well, and that's the thing, like I, again, me being the more form-based, analytical-based structure for things. Right, we're working on you. I sit out with, you know, I need to, to Friday, for instance, I work on our newsletter stuff. So I knew that I needed to help with the newsletter. I needed to get that out. I knew that I needed to have some cleanup tasks from yesterday that I had sitting on my desk that I need to get through. And I know that I need to have another project that I've been working on kind of wrapped up at this point. So there are three tasks that I know that I need to get to today. However, my day also changes based on did I get something that's on fire in my email that I you know the situation with the the podcast I knew that we were going to be doing podcast recording today and then where does the day go from there so it's kind of adaptive it's it's kind of you know creative structuring I get the stuff done that I need to get done and then I address the things that kind of crop up Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but still like, I, you know, I think, I think it, it, there's a certain, when I talk about social media, when I talk about, you know, projects like this, when I talk about, you know, people trying to kind of, you know, move forward in some creative endeavors, like there, ne- there's, there needs to be a development of that ability to just kind of look at something sideways and be like, this can apply. Right. Oh yeah. Like, absolutely. And I think that's why so much of this is happening. For us right now. Well, I, I know community wise, there was a meeting that I attended uh, a couple of days ago and it was the conversation was how do we get a community based event that's going to benefit the community and the different types of businesses that we have within the community. And like the people that were sitting there at the meeting, I, I immediately brought up I'm like, well, if I were you, I would do X, Y, and Z. And they looked at it like, Wow. Actually, that's, I hadn't considered that before. And I'm looking at it going, it's kind of common sense to me, but that's, that's how my brain kind of connects things. But it was cool to kind of have that conversation and break it down and let them know you're looking at things in this traditional box that, you know, this is where your business this is what your business does. This is what you do as part of your business. This is, this is your business in a box. And if you just not even step outside of the box, but just open the box up a little bit, you're not going to be going a whole lot out of your way to do some of the suggestions that I just came up with, Mm -hmm. but it's something that makes sense and it's cost effective and it's easy to do because you have that flexibility embrace it <laughs> absolutely absolutely so really just take advantage of those opportunities right yeah so. exactly and it's taking advantage of the opportunities but also it's recognizing the opportunities because mm. i think that that's another hard thing that people don't necessarily see is is this is this a hurdle or is this an opportunity sometimes it is a hurdle like legit it's it's i'm not going to sugarcoat it sometimes it's just completely a giant brick wall that somebody has or situation has placed within your path but even that instead of going up over it is there a way to get either around it or even under it absolutely you have to look at it differently and put it into perspective 
Well, if you want to see all the weird paths that we take, go over to SorgatronMedia.com and <laughs> just see what we post lately. <laughs> oh, good, because I thought you were going to refer them back to my crazy wall. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> including past episodes where we talk about Missy's crazy wall. Um, you know, absolutely. And I think, I think, you know, I hope that's something that we contribute is, are those kinds of ideas and that, that, uh, uh, you know, just, you know, coincident, not coincidence. That's not the word I'm looking for. Inspiration at least. Right. Where are we pointing at? To what? There's people. What? Read the back of their shirts. Topopo. Yeah. Totopo. Totopo. I think they're from downtown. I think that that's a downtown restaurant. Uh, that's the one in Mount Lebanon. Is it, oh, it's Mount Lebanon? That's one that opened next to oh, the place where I used to work in Mount to Lebanon. To Topo. Yes. They're, they're invading our, our taco stand over here. I'm, I was just, I don't, I was confused. Are I was surprised. To to- I was, are we going to Topo? There's a new, there's a restaurant open up here. That, so you never know. You never know. <laughs> Sorry. Segway. Shiny things out the window. The, the, the plus and the minus of having a giant window on a main street. <laughs> <laughs> across from a bustling taco stand. Our guest was really happy about the taco stand. Like, Are those tacos? Most I'm of like, our guests yes, are really excited are about the taco stand. And yes, you're going to enjoy them. Yes. So, yes. No, like many, many of our guests are. And, you know, is it lunchtime, Sorg? I think it is. I think it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to Basic Sorgonomics on your iTunes and your podcast catcher. Uh, our live streams are over on the Basics Ergonomics uh, um, page, over on your Facebook, and if you like it, we're over on YouTube as well. Uh, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Wait, who, well, who are you? Uh, who am I? I'm Sorg. And where can people find you? Sorgatron on the Twitter. And I'm who? R- you're Missy. And where they, can they find me? R- right here in the studio, because you're <laughs> always here. I am always here. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find me online at Rebellious Flock. Oh, this weekend, this weekend. Uh, you will be taking the B-team out to IWC, International Wrestling Cartel. The B-team? The B- well, it, it's not. I'm not there. So I'm just saying B-team because I'm on another team. Um, it's the, You're the A-team. You're the A team. No, no, no. We're, we're the B team, but it's a different conglomeration of the B team. So it is. technically, I think it's the C team. Superhero. Yes, because Chad the Shad is on the team. Yes. <laughs> yes, we get the C team. So there are going to be members. <laughs> You'll be at the DVD booth, of course, for the International Wrestling Cartel, uh, sling, slinging DVDs and promoting what we do here in the studio here in Beachview. Uh, I will be at La Creme Festival. La Creme Festival? I think it's La Creme. I feel like we're going French, but it's behind an Italian restaurant. I don't know how that works. Living Color is going to be performing. We're going to be doing a live stream along with Work Hard Pittsburgh, so go check all that out uh, tomorrow. I'm sure we'll be doing the stream from Work Hard Pittsburgh's uh, Facebook and YouTube page. I'm waiting on the final word on that, too. So uh, go check that out. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Basic Sorgonomics.